Drought and high heat, one of the biggest stories of the summer here in the western U.S. and here in Idaho as well as the triple digits showing no signs of letting up. Good evening. We broke another heat record today. We're going to get to that in just a moment. But first, the drought. More than a third of Idaho is experiencing severe drought conditions this summer, affecting the livelihoods of thousands of Idahoans from farmers to fisheries. But what if we could just make it rain? Idaho has long used a geoengineering method called cloud seeding to make it snow. So what about the rain? Our Tristan Lewis looked into this for us and Tristan, why not many are asking use science to nudge Mother Nature into sending down some rain? Well, Mark and Kim, it's fairly common around the western U.S. Cloud seeding is basically when humans chemically induce weather from increasing precipitation in the mountains to clearing up fog at airports. But with this high heat, it's worth asking, can it get us out of a drought? Experts say it's unlikely. In the past year, Idaho and other parts of the West saw fewer winter storms. That had an impact on the snowpack and runoff water basins around the Treasure Valley. But with a practice known as cloud seeding, Idaho Power was able to produce an additional 475,000 acre feet of water in 2020. For context, one acre foot of water is 326,000 gallons. If we hadn't had a cloud seeding program program in place prior to and then in 2021 for water year 21, we would have seen about a half a million acre feet less runoff or water in the in the watershed. The utility company started the cloud seeding process in 2003 after looking into the program in the 90s coming out of a drought. After some research, it became clear cloud seeding wasn't the silver bullet to get out of a drought. But it is effective as a, as a, as a long-term water management strategy. So what is cloud seeding? It's not humans creating a storm. Instead, cloud seeding acts as more of a nudge to Mother Nature to help increase the amount of precipitation that falls. Mother Nature's very inefficient at making snowfall out of that air that passes over the top of the mountain range. The nudge is adding iced nuclei, also known as silver iodide, into winter storm systems. Idaho Power uses remote ground generators in higher elevations and airplanes that burn special flares within storm clouds. And by targeting the high elevations, that's the last snowpack to melt. And so that gives us water later into the season. And we can wind up with um, benefits throughout the year. Idaho Power started the program's operation at the Payette River. Since then, it's expanded into the Upper Snake River, the Boise Basin, and the Wood River Basins. Our cloud seeding project runs from the 1st of November through roughly the beginning of April. The benefits from the cloud seeding program range from aquifer recharge and the water quality to increased generation at Idaho Power's hydroelectric facilities. Idaho Power says with the change in precipitation and snowpack, they average about a million acre feet of additional water across the river systems. If all of that water were available to our hydro system, that would be a little over 820,000 megawatt hours a year. Taking a look back at last year, the program was able to produce about 370,000 megawatt hours of energy, which can power 32,000 homes a year. So while it won't eliminate droughts, it does give a boost to areas that would otherwise be lacking. We're just trying to get just a little bit more out of out of Mother Nature. And there are more benefits than just energy. Having more water in the basin makes it healthier. So more water for plants, trees, fish, wildlife and more. Mark and Kim. So obviously it's not the end all. It's not the end yeah. all means for this, but it is, as you mentioned, a little nudge for Mother Nature. Hey, give us a little something here. And every little bit helps, right, Tristan, when we're in this big of a drought. Exactly. That's yeah. what they were talking about. Just um, if it was in started in previous years, who knows what things could look like today? Yeah. All right, All right. Tristan, thank you.